Hi, I'm John Chan, and I'm a robot vacuum tester at Reviewed.com. This is the Samsung PowerBot. Right now, it's only available overseas. It will be available in the U.S. in May. This, this vacuum is designed to function while you're away at work. It has a scheduling feature, so it will automatically start at a specific time every day. So you can have it run while you're not around and can't hear it. Yes, it is significantly louder because it contains uh, cyclonic technology that they took out of their upright vacuum. So it's about as loud as a normal vacuum that you have in your house. It's got a front bumper, and whenever it senses that it's made an impact, it stops in order to not damage your furniture. And it actually, it's the most gentle robot vacuum that we've tested thus far. So in this case, it was a little too sensitive and didn't realize what in front of it was a carpet that was supposed to go on top of rather than a piece of furniture to avoid. Which is strange because it has something called easy pass wheels, which helps, it's supposed to help it get over obstacles, but it could not get over the high pile carpet. It might be that it sees the threads, they're too close together, so it seems like one solid object, something that the Samsung doesn't want to climb. Because that's the worst thing for a robot vacuum is for it to get stuck and need your help. Uh, to reset. It could easily surmount thresholds. So it can go from one room to another, like from your tile kitchen to your carpeted floor. The easy pass wheels let it just ride right over. It surmounted the smallest riser, which is two thirds of an inch tall. The other two, it didn't get up the one and a third inch and the two inch riser, but that's very common for most robot vacuums. So the PowerBot stands over five inches tall, so it means it can't go under most of your furniture. And it can't go under counters, it can't go under your couch. That bump is for its dust bin, so it can it can hold a, a large amount of dirt, more than any other vacuum we've tested thus far. So that means you will have to empty it less, but that also means it can't go under or through a lot of furniture. It did, it did very well wherever it could get to. Uh, the only issue is that it is very, it's very cumbersome. It's very blocky. Couldn't get into a lot of nooks and crannies and really tight corners, but anything out in the open, it got, it got very well.